Hello Paul Pounds. Today I want to talk about a series uh, you've probably guessed by the video description. Um, it's, it's one that I've basically I've lost book number one like two times. This is the third time I bought it and I got it again recently during lockdown. Um, a very good friend of mine and book collector said he'd spotted one on a book website that wasn't as badly priced as some of the ones normally are, especially the first one. So I grabbed it and reread it during lockdown and I want to talk about it today. And it's the The Witches series uh, by James Dark. <laughs> Who's not actually James Dark, is it? We all know it's Lawrence James. And it got me thinking about an aspect of horror that I, don't, I tend not to discuss with many people that often. We are going to get into talking about the books in, in a sec. The term guilty pleasure is like banded around a lot on social media. Oh, I really love S Club 7. They're a proper guilty pleasure. They're not really because millions of people like S Club 7 and millions of people have bought their records. Oh, I love Bake Off. It's a proper guilty pleasure. No, it's not. It's like the highest rated show on Channel 4. It's not a guilty pleasure. What's guilty about it? You, someone's made a popular product and you like it. It's not guilty. For me, an actual guilty pleasure is something that I wouldn't want to share with my mother. Uh, be that a book that I wouldn't want to sit and read to her. Uh, or a film that I wouldn't want to sit and watch with her. And one that I enjoy watching or reading. Um, and the witches fit into that category. Let's have a look at some covers while I'm rattling on. They're not historically accurate, obviously. They're ri ri written during the time of the English Civil War. Um, that whole Matthew Hopkins, Witchfinder General malarkey. Which is quite cool. Um... And they're typically unpleasant Lawrence James at his best. Um, I've got a massive fondness for Lawrence James. I will buy his books on spec. Um, knowing full well that some of his books are massively unpleasant. And I wouldn't want my mother to know that I've read them. Um, the witches in particular are chock full of torture, sex, violence, uh, qu quite unpleasant sexual violence, quite unpleasant torturous sexual violence. I don't quite get why I like them. And it made me start to kind of, I'm, I'm quite a chilled out guy, I don't want to get like bogged down in politics and that but I'm I'm quite chilled about stuff I don't like you know if someone wants a pronoun sod it I'll call them that pronoun I don't it makes no difference to me if someone feels victimized I don't know I'm a fat middle-aged white guy what do I know but I shouldn't like these and I don't necessarily like reading about the unpleasant sexual violence that these books contain but come on you must have something you must be some kind of horror fan out there and there must be something that you've sat and watched or read and kind of gone that was a bit harsh but it was trashy fun and the witch is uh lawrence james rocking it i mean he was a he was a brilliant and versatile author um and his sci-fi books are called space opera his westerns are like yeah rugged butch men doing wild west things but when like with uh paradise lost and stuff like that when you get that little glimpse into the darkness in his head <laughs> and you share that with him oh it's disturbing so i'm gonna do just one blurb from the witches this is from the first one, just to give you a rough idea. Other blurbs do contain spoilers for the series. 
So, like, book two will will kind of refer to what happened in book one. So I'm not going to do them all. I'll just uh, do one. It was a time of fear. The great civil war which had split the country from top to bottom still raged. The king was rumoured to have fled, but robber bands of his troops still lurked in the mist, marauding gangs of deadly spectres waiting for the innocent. In the absence of king and parliament, terror ruled with mistrust and murder close behind. But there was no greater terror than the witchfinders. Living on torture, bribery and lust, they took rich pickings as they scoured each parish and hamlet for victims. John Ferris had sworn to fight the rule of bloody atrocities, to take revenge for his father's death and his lover's abduction, to fight the storm of darkness with the sword. So yeah, they're not... They're not like horror. Um, I guess in the same way that Witchfinder General and uh, Mark of Satan and things like that. Um, uh, they're not horror film. Um, but they've got these. The witches' books have certainly got horrific elements in them: uh, stomach churning, torture, and all that malarkey. They're not very historically accurate. Um, I would put them more into kind of the men's adventure genre, just because they're not. I don't know. They don't seem to. They seem to struggle to fit into a genre. Uh, which is quite cool, which is something that Lawrence James has done before. Um, he was a versatile author, and I'm a massive fan of Lawrence James. I'll buy whatever comes along. If you're into sleazy, trashy paperbacks with really silly covers, <laughs> these ladies are very 80s. I mean, the series came out in 83. So the ladies on the covers, as you've probably seen, are very, very 80s. Um, it's one of those series that fluctuates in price, up and down. Um, I've seen the first one on different book buying websites for 80 quid. I paid a lot less than that. I can't afford it to pay 80 quid on a paperback. Um, and some of them I've got for like £2.20 plus postage. Some of them are a bit more... But it's it's worth hanging on. It's one of those series that maybe might take you a little bit longer to collect if you're not prepared to chuck a couple hundred quid here. Which, I d as much as I adore Lawrence James, I don't think it's worth paying top dollar for these books because you're going to read them once, read the whole series, go, oh my god, that was awesome, and then they're probably going to stay on your shelf for a little bit. But I'm glad I've got them and they're a wonderful part of my horror book collection. So, that's it for this video. Tell me your guilty pleasures. I mean, some of mine, uh, music, films and books, there's certain ones, let's just bob up. Book, music, movie, all things I wouldn't enjoy with my mum or my partner or they're just that kind of nasty little worm that's in my brain that's just like oh that's cool in the meantime i hope you're all staying safe and i shall uh, see you again soon bye it was a time of fear the great civil war which had split the country from top to bottom still raged the king was rumored to have fled but robber bands of his troops oh rubber bands of his troops <laughs> Now that had mixed things up a bit.